Representative Bernardi, thank you very much for joining us. Great to be here, thank you. What do you do for a professional career, and can you share a little bit about your life outside the Capitol? I work for Ramsey County and their Parks and Recreation Department. I'm a coalition director for Active Living Ramsey Communities, and our goal is to create and promote environments where people can be physically active in their daily routines. And we do that by engaging the community to really improve health. That really means creating communities where people can be active, whether they um, go to the grocery store and they can bike or walk or go use transit to get used for transportation or be able to use a local park. It's just really integrating movement throughout the day and making it safe and easy for people. Can you describe your district and tell us in what ways you and your district are similar? Well, I grew up in our district, so I would say I'm very similar to my district because they raised me. <laughs> so it's really a great district to represent. I, I uh, live in Fridley, and I represent New Brighton, Fridley, and Spring Lake Park. I went to Spring Lake Park High School and was a graduate from there. I live on the border of Fridley and New Brighton, so it's where my husband plays softball and where I get my hair done and I'll grocery shop. And so it's just like a perfect fit for me. I feel like a hometown girl, I guess. I don't know, that kind of seems weird saying girl, but it's, it's my hometown, and I'm very proud of the people that live there. Very um, hardworking, have strong ethics, and really value education. And I don't take that for granted, and those are things that I've carried with, you, with me throughout my life. And so one of my things, my daughters are in college right now, and my one our one daughter is graduating now this spring, and she's like, Mom, I really want to go to graduate school and I want to get my certification in forensic, uh, computer forensics. And it's like, oh wow, this is so awesome. You make it to a point where your children are valuing education and those are the things that our community really does care about. What are your top legislative priorities? Well, this session we have, um, we're coming off the backs of an incredible session. We did so much last year where we focused on the middle people in the middle class and broadening that and supporting them and helping people be able to go to college with co uh, tuition freezes, paying back our schools nearly two billion dollars and we'll be done paying them back this year and really working on making progress and uh, uh, trying to lower property taxes because they had just been skyrocketing as many people know for years. So we're coming off that really important session and continuing that good work and so looking forward to making more progress and looking at maybe some more fairness in taxes and then also looking to um, Focus on education as we always like to do, making sure the environment is good for kids to learn and making ki sure kids have access to a really strong education. And then um, the other area is making sure that people have a, a living wage and focusing on those issues. That's really important to our community. What area or areas of legislation do you feel like you are best equipped to work on? You talk about legislation, and being a legislator is passing legislation, and then there's some area of interest that I really have a strong interest in. I just want to encompass some more parts of the job, just to mention my very favorite thing about being a legislator is doing what they call constituent services. I love being connected with my community. I love going to community activities and events, getting to know the young people. Uh, yesterday I was at um, um, a funeral in the community, and the, a lot of the young people in which I've seen them grow up from the time they were in kindergarten until now they're graduated from college. It was just fun to see those young people and be able to now actually work on issues together for their businesses, uh, working on a project with uh, MnDOT and how on Highway 65. And so that young man took a real interest in that and I invited him to our meeting that we had today with MnDOT. So that's the area that I love the most. Some areas where I bring some expertise and specialty is really bringing people together around education issues and making sure that our schools have the resources that they need so that our young people have the opportunities that we had when we grew up. Those opportunities really helped us be able to advance our educations and go to college, go to trade schools, and be able to help us have good futures and have a bright future. So those are the things that I really like working a lot. And then I also like to work on transportation issues. and as they relate especially to equity and civil rights. We have a transportation system that for many years has been working on spending lots of money on moving lots of cars fast. And our transportation system really for the future needs to be multimodal because we have people that are getting older now in our society and frankly, some people don't even want to be driving and their kids, a lot of kids are concerned about that their parents are driving. They need ways to have, still have their freedom and independence and get around. We have people that don't even have a car 
right in our own community, I was told 80% of people have either zero or one car. It's not, there's so many people that need to have mobility that the traditional way of just moving lots of cars fast no longer works. We need to create a safe environment where everybody has access to economic prosperity, job centers, and getting to the doctors. In fact, that is one of the number one health concerns now is people having transportation to actually get to their appointments. So that's an area that I have um, taken a keen interest in as well. If given the chance, who would you like to be for a day or who would you like to exchange roles with? I haven't really thought through that very well, but I guess I would have to say Charlie Zelli, who is the Commissioner of Transportation. I really believe that um, there's some transformation that needs to happen within our transportation system in Minnesota, and he plays a key role in making that happen. And I really, I'm not for someone just to throw more money at our transportation needs or, um, and, and, and hope it gets better. I'm really about transforming the system and making sure that we're creating a transportation system that really meets the needs of the future in Minnesota. And one of the, one of the interesting points that's happening, that, as I mentioned, people who might have a disability or a senior who needs to have mobility and get around, our millennials, those are our young people. They call, they call them creatives. They're people that have, um, they're out in the workforce now and they're looking for jobs. They no longer look for a job and then go move there like my generation did. They actually look to see where they want to live and then they move there. And that's where businesses are now locating. They're watching where the millennials move and that's where they're building their workforce. And those young people, they like hit places like transit. Their freedom no longer is having a car. It's using a cell phone, having access to a computer. So for them, being on transit and having the freedom to use those kinds of things and having money to do them because it's frankly outrageously expensive to own a car these days. And uh, people want other choices. So that if I, I would like to fill his role for, for a, I don't know if you said one day, it'd probably take a year <laughs> to really make a difference in doing things different and having business not be as usual. Representative Bernardi, thank you very much. Thank you.